booktube my name is Elizabeth and welcome back to the Owlery. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys all about Edelweiss. So Edelweiss is a website where you can go on and request books for review. So Edelweiss is mostly a website that's geared towards booksellers but a couple of months ago they released their new Edelweiss Plus which is a really great website that is used for mostly like book reviewers, bloggers, booktubers, bookstagrammers, things like that. And I love their new website. Their old website was really hard to use. I did do a video on their older website. If you are a bookseller, if you work in a bookstore, um, that website might be a little bit easier for you to, or might, you know, help you out a little bit more if you're trying to get review books. But you can use either site doesn't matter if you're a bookseller or a book reviewer, you can use Edelweiss Plus or the regular Edelweiss, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step process on how to find books on Edelweiss, how to request books, how to download the books, how to review the books, how to get more books to review, how to get free books, and bunches of tips and tricks on how to get free books using Edelweiss. Now, before I get started, because I'm going to show, it's going to have my entire screen of what to do in Edelweiss for you guys, so you'll see that in a second. But before, I want to mention something that I didn't mention when I pre-recorded the Edelweiss footage, um, is that make sure that you have an okay amount of subscribers, right? Like, don't start booktube and then the next day start requesting books from NetGalley and Edelweiss and directly talking to publishers, right? If you're directly talking to publishers, I would really say that you need a thousand subscribers if you're on booktube um around that mark maybe even on bookstagram um blogging is a little bit different i'm not as familiar with blogging and how that works it's more about how many monthly views you get um but just don't start with 20 subscribers and go requesting books everywhere, right? Make sure you have a decent number of subscribers before you start requesting books on any platform. So just keep that in mind when I'm talking about Edelweiss and um, if you guys have any questions about Edelweiss sites or anything, let me know down below and um, let's go ahead and get onto the footage. All right guys, so this is the uh, main page for Edelweiss. Um, I have my uh, full screen on right now, so it's not gonna look exactly like this, but you're gonna wanna go to edelweiss.plus um, in order to reach this site. And so there's a bunch of things on this site that are actually really helpful. Um, do remember when you're looking through Edelweiss that um, this is mostly geared towards booksellers and librarians. Um, they do approve review copies for reviewers, but this site is like I said mostly geared towards booksellers it has a lot of catalogs and stuff like that for booksellers to buy books for their store so just remember that when you're um, going through this site so the first thing that I want to show you is how to look for review copies so uh, click here we're on the top where it says review copies so if you want to refine your results because like I said this is a bunch of um, books available for request then I go to this little button right here which lets you uh, create a filter and I'll go to subject and go all the way down to young adult and then I will go to um, review copy availability and then I will do all available and that leaves me with 217 results if you have too many results like this one has like 11,000 results. I think if you have more than 10,000 results then they won't let you do it, that's too many. So I usually do um, all available for review copy that is young adult and then I click go to list and then that'll give me all of the books that are available to request for review. So requesting a review copy is really, really simple. Ooh, four cross, I'm excited about this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, it's a read now. What? I'm so excited. I'm actually really surprised that this is a read now, but basically a read now just means that anyone can download it and read it and review it. But let me go to one where you have to actually request. And then I actually need to find one that I want to read because I might actually get approved for this copy. So let me just find one really quick. Okay, so I found one. Here's The Crown's Fate, which is the sequel to The Crown's Game. And on this main page right here, it'll have all the information about it, how much the book is going to cost. Um, it'll have some information about the book itself. Um, and you're just going to go to Request Review Copy. So when you want to do your request made as put a uh, bookseller, blogger, um, you know, anything like that. I am a blogger, so I always click that one. And then in this section right here, I like to make it bigger because um, it lets you see everything. So just give a little overview about yourself. If you guys are familiar with NetGalley, you can use a very similar format to what you put on your NetGalley profile page. 
Um, but and it saves, it usually, it'll save for you what description you want. So uh, make sure that all of your information is up to date. And so I haven't requested a book from NLYs in a while, so I'm just going to update all of my information really quick. Now, after you've updated all of your numbers and everything is correct, make sure that you link all everything that you talked about down below. So you're going to put everything down here. I put my booktube channel, my Twitter, my Goodreads, my blog, and my Instagram just so that they can find it. And then if you want to add an additional message about The Crown's Fate, um, specifically, you can put that in there. Um, usually, if I've read the first book in that series, um, I'll put something on there like, I really loved the first book in this series. And and I actually did a review for it. Here's the link to that review. Just something to show them that you have interest in this series or this book or maybe um, a review of another book from this author just to show them that you have interest in this series or the author or maybe even a um, you could put a review in there that is very similar to the um, book that you are requesting for review so anything like that could really really help them out for the sake of editing I'm just gonna go ahead and submit I um, can't think of any reviews that I've done about books that are similar to this even though I'm sure I've done plenty and I have not read the crowns game and I'm um, Evelyn Skye's first novel was The Crown's Game, so I don't have any other additional stuff that I could put in there, but it does really help if you have anything there that um, would help the author show that you have a lot of interest in this series or the author or a book similar to it. So once you have submitted, your um, request gets submitted, and that's very, very easy. And then you're going to want to go up. So request books that you would like. Um, the good thing about Edelweiss is that they don't have like a percentage like NetGalley does. So NetGalley, they want you to have an 80% request to review ratio, um, meaning that if you requested 10 books, they want you to review at least eight of them in order for you to keep your ratio up um, for the publishers to give you more books to review. Um, the Edelweiss does not have anything like that, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, I still would really recommend to keep your requesting down to a minimum because it's just, it gets overwhelming from experience. I promise you, I have requested 20 books, gotten approved for 18 of them, and then just did not have time, any time to read them or I lost interest, and it's just, you really, really don't want to do that. So once you have been approved for a title, you can always look um, here to see which books you have requested in the past six months, I believe it is, um, and see if it's still pending. I think after six months, they kind of expire. If you're not approved for them in that um, time period, then they kind of just go away. But you can see um, which two you have open. And then it'll say here, request pending approval, request pending approval. And then um, over here, it'll show you which ones you've been approved for. This, so this little section right here. So I have been approved for both of these books, and I can read them now. So what you're going to do at this point is you're going to click read now. And then I always do Kindle. So I have a Kindle. I love my Kindle. Um, I'm not really sure how the standard goes and how that all works. But every time that I want to get a book downloaded, I always click Kindle. And actually, I want to see... Um, actually, I'm going to do Avenged instead because something very important as well. The on-sale date is May 2nd. Um, so it comes out earlier than The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. So you want to be able to read the book and review it before the release date. Again, they're not as strict about that as NetGalley is, um, but definitely make sure that you um, read it and review it before this um, published date, especially, or before um, look at the exp expiration date for the title as well. So this one expires in 81 days. This one expires in 32 days. So definitely want to um, read Avenged first because I have a lot shorter time period to read that one than the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and go to read now and click Kindle and click continue. So now you want to put in your Kindle email address. So really quick, I'll try to tell you how to find your Kindle um, email address. So if you have a Kindle, go to your Amazon and go over here to your accounts and then scroll down somewhere over here. It'll say manage your content and devices. Now you want to go to your devices and uh, select the Kindle that you have. So I have um, Audible, which is connected to my Kindle. I have my um, Amazon Echo, and I have my uh, Fire HD. So this is the one that you want. Right here, it's going to tell you your email address. So this is my Kindle email address. And they just like, it's like a random thing, I believe. 
And Kindle is the one that chooses your email address for your Kindle. So you have to go here to find it um, and you just copy it. Go back over here to your um, Edelweiss page. And then my I got a new Kindle since the last time that I've requested books on here. So I just needed to change that. Um, and it gave me a really good way to help you guys find your Kindle email address too. So it kind of worked out. And then uh, send directly to Kindle. Now, I don't know what the heck this means, but it says, warning, Amazon will charge based on file size for this option. Okay, um, so I've never been charged from Amazon. So I'm assuming that if it was a really large file, maybe they would charge, but I've never had that happen, and I always uh, do send directly to Kindle. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I, I'm pretty sure that send to email works just as well. Um, Every single time I choose either of these, it always sends directly to my Kindle. So I don't really know what the different options are for, but you go ahead and click one of them and it will send directly to your Kindle. It should load right up on the main page after. It takes like sometimes five, 10 minutes, um, but it should be there pretty quickly. So once you have uh, downloaded and read the book that you are um, needing to review, then you're going to go to, um, you know, back here where it says approved and then click the book. And down here, there's like a little talky button. It says rate and or review this title. You're going to click that. So they have these little scroll bars. Um, first is overall, and you can rate it from 1 to 10. And you do not have to, um, and 1 obviously is very poor, and 10 is, um, it was a great book. Now, you don't have to do all of these, but I like doing them I think they're really cool so then you can do the same thing for the writing quality um, if there is any illustrations in there like I said you don't have to do that if it doesn't apply to the book then you don't have to do that one on there but you could do uh, character development couldn't put it down this which I think is like amazing I love that thing that they have on there um, intellectual depth originality and then this is where you would write your review and again like I said for my neck alley um, video on teaching you guys how to use NetGalley, please put an in-depth review, um, you know, as if you were going to do a regular video or a blog post, um, things like that. Once you have written your review in here, um, go ahead and click send to and then click publisher. And then you're going to click the save button. So I have not read or reviewed this book yet, so I, I'm not going to send it over, but it's as easy and as simple as that. So now that I've kind of been over um, a bit on how to review and request um, books on Edelweiss, there's a couple other really cool things I kind of wanted to show you. So I like going to catalogs and going to filter. And I really like doing this because I just like looking at what's new, what's upcoming, stuff like that. So I'll go to young adult. And again, like I said, if it's over 11,000, it'll give you this thing right here. If 10,000 is too many, you need to kind of like narrow it down. So then what I go to do is I go to publication date and I do starting today. I, I usually go like three months. I mean, you can go four months, whatever, but it really narrows down your results. So I really like to see um, what's going to be coming out over the next three or four months so I can kind of get an idea of what's going to be new and popular. What do I want to read? What do I want to review? Um, what do I want to um, request from the library or um, pre-order on Amazon? Stuff like that. So I really like to look through here and see everything that's going to be coming up um, in the next upcoming months. Alright guys, so that is it for my Edelweiss tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you learned some things. If you have any questions about using Edelweiss, definitely ask me down below. If you're looking for more information on NetGalley, I did a video on that and I'll link it up here in the eye. I'm not ever sure which side it's on. Um, but if you have any questions at all about Edelweiss or NetGalley or requesting books from publishers or anything like that, definitely feel free to ask me down in the comments below. I will be more than happy to answer your questions. But in the meantime, if you're interested in watching any more of my videos, you can click here or if you want to subscribe, you can click my beautiful face right here. It would make me oh so happy. Check out all the links down in the description below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.